Hi there, I'm Peter Sidwell from Simply Good Food TV. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, it, it is um, January 2017. Wow, can't believe we're into 2017 already. Look, I'm gonna, um, it's going to be a big year for Simply Good Food TV, so I wanted to get going, start creating you some great content for you to watch, share, tell your friends about. Look, Simply Good Food TV is a free app that you can download on your Android or Apple device, onto your iPad, onto your phone, tablet, whatever you like. Uh, and all we do is just find you amazing food programs and put them all in one place. And we also make food programs as well, so we look for chefs and stuff like that. So look, here's a little taster of what I'm doing. So today, I'm going to show you how to cook a really beautiful piece of fresh mackerel. Now, I've been to Booth's, my local supermarket in Keswick in the Lake District, and I've got a very simple fillet of mackerel. Beautiful, oily, rich, uh, good for you, uh, and beautiful, but cook it fresh. Uh, it's not a keeping fish, it's a buy it, cook it kind of fish. And we're going to serve that with some tender stem broccoli, preserved lemon, um, and a few spices, and make a lovely kind of lemon butter dressing, but lots of Moroccan spices. It's going to be really beautiful. So, first thing, let's get the hob on. And we'll get both hobs on, because this all kind of cooks quite quickly together, same kind of time. So. I've got a frying pan here for my fish, and then I've got a frying pan here for the tender stem broccoli. We're going to get a lovely crispy skin on the mackerel. So, bought, like I say, bought this from Booth's today, our local supermarket. Look at that lovely, shiny, fresh fish there. Doesn't smell really, really fishy. And for me, that is super, super important. So, we're going to take the bones out of this mackerel, trim it up, get it ready. So, the bones run down the center and then they finish here. So I always think the best thing to do is take your knife and go in at a kind of a 45 degree angle. And just don't press, just glide the knife through either side. And at that 45 degree angle, what you should do is kind of meet in the middle and that just kind of nicks the knife underneath the bones and keep going either side and then what it should allow you to do is just lift out those bones. Look, let me just do that. So there you go. And that's the bones out. So you don't need to worry about tweezers. You don't need to worry about anything like that. And that's one of the things that we often teach in the cookery school here as well, is how to sort of handle ingredients. And it's really, really important for cooking. Good fresh ingredients, good technique. The rest is easy. Okay, so we're just going to slice that there, take that piece off. So we've got a nice, clean fillet there, ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to oil that up. So I've got a little spray olive oil here. There we go. Give it a little brush and then it gets a lovely coating. Same again. Nice coating on there. Just pop that over there. Beautiful. Right. So let's season it up. Now I'm going to actually season this up. I've got some Mara seaweed, okay? Seaweed for me, I think is a big thing that's coming. And we're going to be needing to cook more with this, I think. It's good for you, good source of iron. It's got great flavour. And I'm actually going to use it as a bit of a seasoning. So I'm going to ease off on the salt and I'm going to use uh, seaweed instead, okay? So a little bit of black pepper. There we go. Right, let's just turn this pan down. Okay, so I am going to add, I've got a little bit of water in this pan here. You can see that all right. Okay, yeah, we're good on that, aren't we? Okay, and then I'm going to take the tender stem and just break it where it naturally breaks and just drop that in, okay? So four pieces is probably enough for what we're going to be doing. And just let that cook and as the water dissolves, it'll do its thing, okay? So, where were we? A little bit of black pepper. Okay, and then I'm just going to salt the skin side of the fish. Okay, because I want a nice crispy skin, basically. Okay, so if I just lean over here, uh, just means that I can crop in there. So, if I do that, pan's hot. Not smoking hot, but hot enough to cook. So lay the fish in and hold it down with your hands, because it will naturally want to curl up, okay? Um, because, of, because of the skin. So just hold it gently, don't squash it, 
Just hold it firmly, take charge, you're not going to burn yourself. Just hold the fish so that the skin is flat to the frying pan. And just give it maybe a minute. Okay, just to allow it to not want to curl up, because it just naturally wants to curl. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to cook that skin side down, I'm not going to touch it. Just let it cook for a few minutes till you get nice and crispy and then we'll turn it over. Okay? So we've got our, let's have a quick wipe down. Okay. So we're going to add a few spices and flavours into there in a minute, but let's get the skin done first. Okay, broccoli. So, I've got some preserved lemon. So these are beautiful little lemons that have been preserved in salt water and they are very, very distinctive, very unique. There's not really anything else like them. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just get the pips out. Doesn't really work with normal lemon. You need preserved lemon for this one. Okay, so we're just going to chop it up. It is a seasoning. Okay. It. We'll move that to one side and then we've got some cumin seeds and then we've got some coriander seeds and then I've got some nigella seeds so they're all these flavors are all going to work really really well together and I've got some butter to help us make the sauce okay okay so Let's have a little old look at this fish. So I've got a little palette knife here, which just allows me to just kind of flip it over and have a little look. So a little one like this is quite good for fish, because you want to be relatively delicate with this. Right, so, some cumin seeds. Sprinkle those in. Let's crop in here so you can see what's going on. I've got some coriander seeds. And we're going to add those in as well. And then nigella seeds. Now these flavours all work really, really well together. That's why I've chosen them. They've all got that wonderful kind of North African, deep Middle Eastern kind of flavour. Right, let's flip this fish over. Look, there we go. Nice crispy skin. Add the butter in. And that kind of helps to bring all the flavours together now. And then we're going to add that preserved lemon. So I'm going to add one preserved lemon in there. Okay. And then to now kind of create the sauce, take a little bit of the cooking water from the broccoli and add that. And that's now going to stop the frying process and it starts to allow us to amalgamate this together. The fish is no longer frying. The fish is now poaching in butter, spices, and lemon, which to me sounds incredible. Okay? So we're just gonna let that cook nice and gently. And let it do its thing. Don't rush it, just take your time. Okay, that broccoli is nearly done. So just while that mackerel just sits and cooks Gently in that liquid, get ourselves a little plate, and then let's just get some herbs in there. So, I've got lots and lots of fresh parsley, I think. It's going to work really well, because what it's not going to do is take away from the spices. It'll give a sense of freshness. If I went and hit that with a load of coriander and loads of mint, that's what you'll taste. Whereas with this, you will taste the spices, the lemon, you know. And what you want to watch is just watch the liquid. If it starts to reduce a little bit too much, just nick a little bit of water from that broccoli because that is just cooking nicely. Don't need to worry too much about that. Don't worry. And I'm not adding stock to this because the preserved lemons are slightly salty and then you've got all the spices and the flavour. If you start adding chicken stock, fish stock, I think you're just going to get too much flavor, too many flavors um, in there. So that's going to work really, really well. So let's have a little look. 
Now with fish, you can usually tell when it's cooked because it firms up. And the best way to tell is just to kind of touch it like that. But then if you touch, if you put your thumb and your finger together with no pressure and feel that part of your thumb, that's what rare meat feels like. So if, if I was to do that and then that, all oh right, it's not, quite, it's not quite there yet, so we'll cook it a little bit longer. But then if you move your thumb to the second finger, it starts to tighten a little bit. And I'm kind of at medium there. And then if your third finger, that's what well done, very tight, wouldn't feel like. So, touch more water in there. That's it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift the broccoli and just sit it in that beautiful dressing, okay? Because I know that all those flavors are gonna work beautifully. Okay, so I'm gonna lift the fish out and just let it rest for a second because that's cooked, okay? And then let's just bring this together on a little taste. Mm, beautiful. Okay, so just let's just see where we need to be for you guys to see what's going on. So if I go to that one, okay? Let's move that parsley over there. Right, so I'm just going to sit the broccoli in the middle of the plate, okay, lovely tender stem broccoli, beautiful, okay, and then take the parsley and then just drop that in there, Okay, so just drop the parsley into the sauce and then we're just going to dress that. There we go. And then take our mackerel. It's just had a minute to rest. It's going to look beautiful on there. And then take that last little bit of that dressing and that lovely buttery sauce and just nick it on the top there. And that is my lovely Moroccan mackerel. It's got a really beautiful flavour, really easy to cook, lovely and simple, but fresh and tasty. Alright, don't forget to download the app, Simply Good Food TV. There's loads more of this going on. Thanks.